Hello and welcome back to another instalment of Scots Land. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button, whatever it may be, at the end. Um, and then make sure you hit that notification bell so you get more content, you get more videos from myself as soon as I upload them. Have you done it yet? Okay, that's fine. Good. We'll get back into it. Straight on to it. I took a trip out to Hellsborough uh, a weekend or two ago. Some great weather. Hellsborough is a place just about 25 miles northwest of Glasgow. Hellsborough holds many claims to fame. The famous actress Deborah Kerr uh, lived there for a few years. She was in the, the Hollywood movies From Here to Eternity and The King and I. She was the big actress in The King and I. She lived there for a few years. We've got a personal favourite of mine, Gordon Reed. Gordon Reed lives there. He is the wheelchair champion at tennis. He's won the US Open. He's won the Australian Open. And he's won Wimbledon singles. He's also the Paralympic champion. He's won doubles at Wimbledon. He's won doubles at the Australian Open. At the French Open. The only one to the famous person to live there and was born there was John Logie Baird. His claim to fame was he was the first person, first man, to transmit proper television pictures and is recognised in his day as the inventor of the TV. Okay, but all that aside, I was here to see one thing. Hill House. What is Hill House, I hear you cry? Hill House is one of the most famous design works other than the Glasgow School of Art to be designed by Charles Henry Macintosh and his wife Margaret. It was built for the publisher Walter Blackie between 1902 to 1904. The design concept of this house was the house of the future. It used different building materials, different designs, but unfortunately the good old Scottish weather took hold. Um, the house has stood through 100 plus years through rain, sleet, snow, hail, the works. Good old Scottish weather. Macintosh designed every feature within the house. The interior, the furniture, the concept, the build itself, even down to even the flowers supposedly that were put inside, the cut flowers that were put inside the rooms themselves. That is the attention to detail that Charles actually had on this house. From 1982, it's been in the hands of the National Trust for Scotland. The house is damp, very damp. The elements have taken hold on it and it's struggling. Um, as you can see from this image, is how much dampness is in and soaked into the building. So a plan had to be put in place. Now, how do you dry a house out? A huge dehumidifier, a massive hair dryer. Do you put it in a greenhouse? Wait, you put it in a greenhouse? Now, some of the craziest ideas are the best. That is exactly what they've done. There's been donations and the NTS, National Trust of Scotland, have put together a plan to build the, the, an entire greenhouse effect round the outside of the building. So I decided to go out, have a look, and see how it looked. The construction work began in July last year, 2018, and it's cost around four and a half million pounds. It has received a one and a half million pound donation from the people, um, and it needed to be done. The plan is to have the structure over the building for about five years to dry it out and soak up any moisture and get that moisture out of the walls and get it out of the floors and the ceilings and the structure itself. You can also see from some of the videos that there will be a staircase and a staircase has been built and a bridge in effect is getting built round the side of the building across the top of the building. You will be able to walk up the side on the outside of the building, walk up the side and walk across at height across the top of the building. With the devastation of the Glasgow School of Art fire that happened last year, and I'll stick a wee card up there, or I'll be up there somewhere, um, for you to have a look at what happened, the aftermath of the fire. Look it up, it was a horrendous time um, for the building. But many other buildings are coming into a state of disrepair. 
So I really wanted to check out and have a look to see how it was all going. It is going well, I must admit, as you can see, it's going very, very well. The structures are in place. You can see the bridge. You can see the stairwell that goes up the side. I don't know if there's any other buildings out there around the world that has this sort of structure put in place to protect the building for a few years. Maybe someone else would let me know. I'd love to find out these places. Just do a bit of comment below. Okay guys, that just about wraps up for uh, this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave comments down below. If you like what you saw and you're new to this, the kind of Scotsland family, if you will, hit the subscribe button, whatever it may be, somewhere. Um, hit the notification bell so you get more content straight away as soon as I post it up. Until next time guys, thanks again. Till next time, see you later.